a clarification if possible regarding getting hungry. I, I'm assuming you're talking about intermittent fasting. So we're, do the studies show if there are specific hours that are more effective than others or times of day that are more effective than others? Like uh, you mentioned, yeah. you skip breakfast. So right. are you on a five-hour eat cycle, eight hours? Does that make a difference? Yeah, I, so we really don't, don't know the answer. Anyone who says they do is, is making it up. But what I think is that we're all different. And I recently learned, thanks to that glucose monitor that I, I had on my arm, is that I'm one of the people that has a huge spike in blood sugar in the morning. So for me, eating makes no sense. And I, for, in fact, I feel sick if I eat in the morning. That's me. There are some people who wake up starving with low blood glucose where it makes sense to eat. And then perhaps they want to have a tiny dinner or skip it. But the, you need to have a period of extended time. So it's 16 to 18 hours, we think, to get the most benefit. And how you want to do that is fine. I find sleeping without eating to be the easiest. Um, um, yeah. I'm not hungry all day, but at 8 o'clock, I want my big meal. At 8 p.m.? Yeah. yeah. But I could stay up pretty urge. well. <laughs> uh, I have okay. the same problem. But if there's two problems with eating really late. One is you'll have high blood sugar levels throughout the night, and you're ac you won't activate your longevity pathways. But also, you won't sleep as well, and that, that's been well proven. And I learned that for myself by wearing one of these sensor rings. 